Greetings from Jaguar. In this video, we're going to guide you through replacing your old formula hydraulic brake lines with new Jaguar high flow hose. These instructions will cover installation for R1, Mega, and the One model formula brakes. Before we disconnect the hose, let's remove the brake pads so we don't get any fluid on them. Remove the pad retaining bolt with a T25 Torx wrench, then pull out the pads. Use an 8mm box wrench to disconnect the hose of the caliper. Then disconnect the hose from the brake lever using that same wrench. Be sure to dispose of the old brake fluid properly. Determine the appropriate length of the new high flow line. Make certain it's long enough. It's often easiest to use the old hose as a guide. Once you've marked the correct length, cut the line cleanly using the Jaguar Space Age cutter. Now we'll prepare the lever end of the hose. First, slide the fitting cover onto the hose and follow with the compression nut. Make sure the threads face the end of the hose. And finally, put on the compression bushing. Press the needle insert into the tip of the hose using the Jaguar Precision Needle Driver. Attach the new hose and fittings to the brake lever by threading in the compression nut. Use an 8mm box wrench to tighten it down 5 to 7 newton meters. Assemble the O-rings and the banjo onto the banjo bolt. Thread the banjo bolt into the caliper and tighten with an 8mm box wrench. Make sure that the angle of the banjo won't kink the hose. Thread the quick fit hose onto the banjo adapter and tighten 4 to 5 newton meters. Be sure to bleed the brakes according to the manufacturer's specifications. Now it's safe to replace your brake pads and pad retaining bolt. Repeat these steps for the rear brake and your bike will be ready to ride.